Thank you very much, Bob, and thank you. I look forward to your questions and to yours. Uh, a friend of mine who's a teacher says a lecture is a long answer to a question nobody asked. Uh, and I don't want this to be that. I look forward to your questions today, as well as uh, if I'm successful, and I hope to be during our transition, and particularly uh, in the next four and eight years here, because I know, as you do, uh, what great strides Massachusetts has taken in a very tough economy under the leadership of a governor who has understood the importance of our continued growth in the biotech sector. I know the governor uh, has invested in uh, the ways in which we move forward, and it, look, look what the results are. You know, 10 out of 10 global leaders are here in Massachusetts. Uh, it's been important to have government support, and you will under my administration. I'll talk a little bit about that in this opening, and I know through some of the questions, but the ability for the governor, and frankly, as I have been as attorney general, to continue to have conversations about when government can help and when you need to get us out of the way, because I know there are those times too, uh, has been imp important to me. And I recall coming in here today, actually, as district attorney, one of the issues came up is that an old statute in Massachusetts required the district attorney to sign off on stem cell research that might be going at Harvard and MIT. And I worked with the then Senate president and many uh, of the legislators to say, wait a minute, we've got to move forward into the 21st century here in Massachusetts. I've been committed to that as attorney general, and particularly in this industry, knowing what growth you've brought here. Every dollar that we've invested, we leverage that for three more dollars. That's an incredible way to keep this growing uh, for jobs, for the future, for the uh, economic driver that this sector has been particularly, and also for the good that you do. I mean, what's really important to me is seeing the growth around new medications, medical devices, the kinds of things that really do solve problems for people that matter. Uh, it's what I've spent my life doing. I know you're committed to it as scientists, as business people, uh, and I am excited, as I think you are, to be here in Massachusetts. And so the ability to continue our lead here is important. I know my attorneys general around the country are sick of hearing me talk about how great we are in education, and particularly in this area. But it's true, so I don't mind bragging about Massachusetts, and I want to continue to have those bragging rights. With your help, we will move Massachusetts forward. I know this reach is global, and I know that the eyes are on us of what we can do here, and so having good partnerships at your federal level and your state level are crucial. And important to me is that the growth in this sector is sustainable, that if we do this right as we are now, and we continue this growth, we are going to be able to, not only in Cambridge and Boston, but continue to grow uh, economy, good solutions, good jobs around the state. Um, in North Adams, in Berkshire County, where I grew up, in Holyoke, Springfield, in um, Merrimack Valley. So let me tell you why I believe that I would be a very good governor, particularly for you, for your employees, for your future. Mike. Excuse me for one second. I just, that's, I'm getting too excited. That's all right. We get excited about it, too. <laughs> Trying to breathe and swallow at the same time. It always does me in. But our investment from the government's point of view in education is key. You know that. And you know that at the top end uh, for getting uh, folks who can do the kind of work, the critical uh, thinking research, that research development is crucial. And so we need to continue to work with our federal partners to make sure you have the, the workforce available. But we need to do more on the state level, and we can. Who better than Massachusetts to invest in early education, K through 12 education that involves STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, math. And I think arts and music matters a lot, too. So I'm all for that. We're going to make sure that happens here in Massachusetts. And as we move forward investing in our two-year colleges and our four-year colleges, where your workers at the top level, at the mid-level, at the bottom level, are so important. And I talk to companies that move south because healthcare costs were, uh, healthcare costs and energy costs are lower. We're working, by the way, to keep those barriers down for businesses on healthcare energy. I know what they are for businesses. I've worked as attorney general to keep them lower. But you can't grow your jobs unless you have the workers to do them. And unless we are willing to invest in that, starting with early education, but through that computer science particularly. Uh, the MassCan initiative has been so important. Uh, quick story, I talked to some high school kids in Malden High School. First generation, 70 different languages there. And the kids are working in teams to do coding. They taught me how to, at the end of the hour, get the angry birds to eat each other. And I was happy about that. But the, more importantly, the kids came up to me and said, 
Uh, Mr. Marx teaches us how to walk and we learn how to fly. We can do that here in Massachusetts with investing in our kids, our education, our workforce development. Can't wait to be a partner with you on that uh, and love to hear from you today. Okay. Thank you. Um